What is good YouTube? It is your boy Jay back with another video and I know I've been gone for a while now man. I've been in the middle of moving. You guys finally see a different background you feel me. A lot has been going on. You feel me? Football season got canceled then I moved to another team. It's just a lot really going on man so I really do apologize for the lack of videos but you guys can guarantee I will be dropping a video every week i promise i make this go to myself so no for the do let's get into the video that you guys came to see run it so today's video is a review on a jordan 10 football cleats now quick story i was on nike just chilling doing my daily scroll on nike you feel me adding stuff to my wish list adding stuff to my car you feel me and i ran past the jordan 10 cleats i did i didn't know that they were going to release i didn't know nothing about it the same way i didn't know that the jordan uh 11s was going to release it just kind of happened you feel me so I missed out on the Jordan 11 release. I was so upset, you feel me? I'm still salty to this day. And I couldn't miss out on the Jordan 10 release, you feel me? I had to cop them. So boom, here we go. The Jordan cleats came in an all black Jordan box with the uh, gold logo. If you guys don't know, man, I am a big Jordan fan and I have a couple of these boxes anyway. So um, I'm glad that they kept that OG feel, you know, sneaker head type of feel with the uh, cleats, you feel me? You got your uh, white paper with the uh, gold 23s. And here we go, man. We got the steals, baby. These joints are fire in my opinion, man. I had to pick them up. It was no way these was not coming home with me. You feel me? Let me give you guys a quick 360. Now these cleats are literally identical to the OGs. This was actually one of the first uh, sneakers I was going to buy like back in these release or they re-release in 2000 and I want to say 13 or 14, like one of them two years they released again um, and I was going to pick them up or cop them or whatever, but I didn't, you feel me? But hey, I guess I got them in the cleats, you feel me? So. Um, I did try these on. They do run true to size. Um, they do fit snug. Um, the only downfall that I probably see with this cleat, um, is the performance, man. I don't know how it's going to hold up. You feel me? This is my first Jordan cleat. You feel me? I have tons and tons and tons of Nike cleats around and they put a lot of technology into it. Um, I just think they just took a Jordan, um, shoe and threw some cleats on it. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, man, it's still fire. You feel me? The tracks and plate look decent. This is um, a really old tracks and plate that had, that that they have been using. But you also have some lunar, lunar line in the midsole. If they want to focus for me, come on, man. Yeah, so you have lunar line on the midsole, and they actually really are comfortable, man. Um, I'm scared to break these out um, tomorrow because I got to work out tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I want to break these out. Um, I think I'm gonna wait for the first game you feel me to break these out But I know I'm gonna have to at least break them in at least one or two times Before I actually play a full game in these because you guys know Never ever take brand new cleats and go uh, play a first game. You will be Sorry, bro. You will be sorry that you did that. You feel me? So when I threw these bad boys on for the first time man, I actually felt Locked down I actually felt supported and honestly, bro. I feel more locked down than these than any of my other cleats which is crazy you feel me for this to be a jordan cleat and not really too much going on with it it's crazy you feel me but another thing that i'm kind of worried about is the breathability you feel me um i wear thick socks sometimes i wear two socks and i know it's gonna get hot in here bro y'all can see the insole or not the insole but you guys can see you know the inner um sock liner it's it's hot bro like you feel me it's hot in here um so a long day of running a whole bunch of nine routes and slants these probably gonna stink you feel me so i may have to keep these in the trunk they may stink too 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 bad man but yeah guys it's not really too much i can really say about the uh cleat right now because i didn't get a chance to try it out but i'm pretty sure man you know like it's gonna hold up you know what i mean um but really man the reason why you buy jordan cleats 
it's to look good, man, to step on the football field and be like, hey, man, I'm big dog out here, you feel me? I don't think this cleat was made to be a performance cleat. I feel like, you know, it's just taking, you know, the sneakerhead, you know, into football, you feel me? And just giving us opportunity that, you know, to be able to rock Jordans on the uh, field, you feel me? The same way they can rock Jordans on the court, we want to rock Jordans on the cleat. I mean, you feel me? like we want to rock Jordans on the field. So I feel like that's dope, you feel me? But I think these are still up, actually. Let me actually go and check it out. Because I bought mine on Nike.com and they might still be in stock, you feel me? So uh, let's go ahead and just check this. Well, uh, I'll just go to eat. East Bay real quick. East Bay, you can never go wrong with East Bay. So I'm pretty sure Jordan 11, no, Jordan 10 uh, cleats. They should still be in stock. Let's check. Yeah, so they still in stock. Also, the price point that I got these was 125. I think I spent about 134 uh, totals. You guys can tell right there, man, they got a full size run of all the colors, you feel me? So if you really want this cleat, man, go buy it right now now so yeah guys i am done rambling um stay tuned for a part two i will do a performance test review and that's when i'm gonna come back with all the specs and all the stuff like that to see how the cleat holder for me you feel me and what i think they should well it's not really nothing they can improve on because it's it's a Never mind, you feel me? If you guys haven't already followed any of my social medias, make sure you guys do so down in the description below. If you haven't already joined the squad, make sure you guys do so by hitting that subscribe button. It's your boy Jay, and I'm signing out. Peace. Thank you guys once again for checking out my YouTube channel. If you like the content that you guys just saw, please hit that like button. If you haven't already joined the squad, make sure you guys do so by hitting that subscribe button. If you haven't already, follow my social media. The links will be down in the description below. Be safe and God bless.